Hi, it's day two at Paris Air Show 2017 and today we'll focus on some of the new innovations showcased by the French Defense Procurement Agency. I would like to introduce you a technology of micro motors made of MEMS. This technology has been developed in France by a SME, a small company named SILMAC. SILMAC stands for Silicon Machinery. So our activity is to design and to manufacture MEMS, but also take silicon parts and hybridize them on conventional micromechanics. And today we have introduced uh, these uh, micro motors in two versions. The first one is a version dedicated to consumer products like watches. And thanks to its very small size, we can replace the conventional lavette technology that is used in the majority of uh, watches in the world. About a, bi a billion of uh, motors of such type is, is uh, produced every, every year. So we will replace this technology by this one, very small, very efficient, and very uh, useful for connected watches. In a connected watches, you have uh, mainly microelectronics. Micro so this technology is compatible with the process for mounting the, the components. So it's a SMT compatible technology. So this is the version for the watches. It will be industrialized in France, in Besançon. Uh, and we have developed also a more, much more powerful motor that is used for uh, the propulsion system of a Dragonfly, that is a micro drone, uh, bio-inspired uh, Dragonfly. So the motor is bigger. And if I go back to the, to the motor for watches, you can see that it is uh, small, and beside uh, the motor you have the electronics, that is ASIC. So all together, the motor and the ASIC is enough, together with a battery, to uh, activate any system, like, of course, hand watches in a connected watch. I'm heading a research lab whose name is Labstick in the Western Brittany part of France. We have a large spectrum of activities from sensors to knowledge. And uh, amongst these uh, expertise fields, we, just, uh, we are working on antennas uh, for uh, airborne systems, UAVs, and missiles. So uh, what we are presenting here is a new way of designing antennas, especially antennas devoted to uh, a constrained systems such as missiles or UAVs. So you have here a classical design, industrial design for electronic beam scanning antenna. So with some kind of a internal guide for the waves and so on. The first step we did was to print the same kind of object in 3D printing from aluminium. So this is one block, there is no fixation anywhere and it gives the same function. But the main interest is not to exactly copy the same kind of antenna, but just go for 3D printing in the sense of uh, adapted shape of the antenna. Because of this shape, the antenna has an enlarged field uh, of uh, coverage and we can go from 120 to 260 degrees covering. So it uh, gives a really enhanced performance for this kind of antenna. 
So uh, if you add on this some kind of electronic beam scanning, you have new kinds of really performant uh, antennas for missiles and UAVs as well and other small systems. Uh, this program has been supported by DGA, the French Defense Procurement Agency, for years through PhD theses, uh, joint research programs and technical and financial support. It's my pleasure to, to introduce my company, Global Sensing Technology, French company, installed in the Burgundy and in uh, Paris area. And the main activity of, of it is embedded artificial intelligence. We have developed some software and firmware, including neural algorithm, and this software or firmware are included in uh, such a board that we have also designed and developed. So this board with intelligence, intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence inside makes the camera, uh, the camera or a sensor, whatever sensor, vibration sensor, acoustic sensor, makes them able to get the, the information, the, the signal, for example, and analyze and make a decision and, uh, and broadcast a pertinent information. So this system may, uh, can be considered as a help to decision for the operator. An example of uh, the application, drone, that is equipped with this uh, type of system, able to recognize an area that has been learned before, and in, in, the, in the case of a recognition of this area, able to zoom, for example, on a specific part of this area in order to count, to this, to count the number of vehicles or planes or jet or aircraft or whatever, and to broadcast the information to the, to the chief that is uh, far away behind. So that's why Aviation and Thales work together as prime manufacturers to try to define the requirement for future combat air system. And these works are focusing on four main pillars, which are stealth, connectivity, autonomy, and artificial intelligence on board the aircraft. So for this, for this we develop analysis tool and simulation, operational simulation that allows us to define the requirement and get feedback from our future operators. Uh, all this work are jointly done by uh, French MOD, Dassault Aviation and Thales in full coordination and with the support of operational. Uh, especially we got, uh, we got a future air combat system, we got uh, stealth capacity that will allow to penetrate in hardly defended territory where conventional fighters would have more difficulty or more chance to be detected. Is in, uh, is in this preparation work of the future combatant system, uh, survivability is important, so low survivability as uh, mentioned. Uh, other aspects which are of key are multifunction sensor suite. That means an intelligence suite of sensors connected together uh, populated with artificial intelligence algorithms. Connectivity uh, is also important. And uh, in support to connectivity, a, com a world communication suite with uh, line of sight communication, SATCOM communications, and intra-flight communications to allow communications between different vehicles within a patrol. So we are Oliver and Bruno from uh, DGA. We have a demonstration on a, a small aircraft. So the first step is the malicious program uh, is, is slipping into the helicopter. And the second step is this helicopter during the operation with flight in this uh, activation zone 
and the malicious program will be activated. And the activation uh, causes the stop of the engine. The role of the DGA is to know uh, the threat and to design protection and solution. So that's why we are with Kerval, which we talk about uh, these types of new solution. But the project we are presenting is a project in uh, cyber security for uh, many air traffic control. So uh, the goal of uh, the project is to test, uh, to generate cyber security tests for uh, air traffic control systems. And uh, the whole idea is uh, uh, to, uh, to test the resilience of uh, the system for cyber attacks. If the system is, uh, if one of the components of the system is, uh, uh, let's say, attacked, uh, will the, the whole system be compromised? Uh, will it be able to detect the attacks? That's uh, the idea of the project. The two main uh, innovation uh, of our projects is uh, the first is to, uh, to be able to extract, to, uh, to do data mining on uh, massive amounts of data, to select the, the best tests, because uh, it's important to select the best test. We don't have um, a lot of time to test the system, so it's important to, to uh, select the best uh, data to test, um, to generate uh, the cybersecurity tests and uh, and the second uh, innovation is um, the um, the interface with um, we want to uh, to offer uh, the possibility to an expert in uh, in air control systems in air traffic management uh, management to uh, generate cybersecurity tests even though he is not a cybersecurity expert